Hey guys, it is MooglerMaster102, and welcome to a Let's Play of Portal. Yeah, I know, people are like thinking, oh, why this? I've seen this game too much. Uh, well, there's the reason why I'm doing this. <laughs> it's actually a mislooked game that it, for me. Uh, I've actually, like, just started playing this game. Now, don't get me wrong, I had this game for a while, but I kind of walked past it, kind of like a black cat. Um, I know that sounds stupid, but yeah, I kind of like just totally ignored the game. Then I played and I was like, wow, this game is so fun. Then I played it like straight through and I was like, and it's actually from, this is my second playthrough that's recorded right now. So yeah, and as you can see, we're... <laughs> having fun just teabagging the ground. Yeah, teabag the ground. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna look at the time. And then something malfunctions. One. Yay, go through the portal. Woo and we play as a girl. Woo! I am happy. Not really, but... Well, you know what I mean. I'm actually excited to do this video series. But here, we're going to go ahead and grab a block, because, you know, blocks. Cubes are always awesome. Put those down. You know, anyone remember the cubics things? Those those little cube guys? It's like a show based off of it. It's like a cubics world. They made a racing game of it. I actually might LP that game if I do find it. I know there's, I know it's a series called Cubics or something, I, but I remember that series. But anyway, why am I talking about this one when I'm playing Portal? I don't know. So, basically, the story of this game is you're stuck in a laboratory called Aperture Laboratories, and, um, you're set to do tests and stuff, and, uh, some other quirky stuff, and as you can see, we're just playing around with por the portals. Um, just wait till later on where we do get our, uh, mechanism that we'll be using a lot through the game. Um, this game is a puzzle game, though. It, some of the puzzles can be difficult. I do fail quite a bit in the games. Well, in the levels. Which you'll see. Um, this is actually a straight playthrough. None of this, none of these clips are edited or anything. This is a straight playthrough. Um, with my commentary. As you can see. Which I'm actually happy to do. Because, you know, this game is awesome and people like my videos, so why not? So, and uh, getting close to a thousand subscribers, so why not provide more LPs and stuff for you guys, and some new quirky stuff, like this game. Um, at the current recording of this video, I am doing Kirby's Adventure while this video is being recorded. So, don't worry about anything. <laughs> so don't worry about the LPs and stuff. I already got that under control. Um, as for Lufia, that's also going to, but right now I'm kind of taking the games a little slow because I'm playing the newer games, which is okay. Um, you know why. Uh, so, we go through here. And then I have this. Yeah, there we go. And here... Just go ahead and round, get around it, and then, bam. We got uh, part of the mechanism. We can only shoot blue portals for now, which is okay, because it's good enough. It's good enough for us. We're going to be using this a lot through the game. This game is actually quite short. It's like an hour and a half, um, if you know what you're doing. In this case, I sort of get stuck a little bit, but with my the progress of my playthrough, all the videos came out to about an hour and 35 minutes, so, yeah. And here, if you actually detach the cameras from the walls, you do get an achievement. I think you get, like, 36 of them. Um, at the, at, at the moment, I don't have the achievement yet, so I've been going ahead and taking down the cameras. I don't get the achievement at all in the recording of this recording session, or the full playthrough of this game, but... I will get that I will get that achievement eventually. Now, while this game is being recorded, I actually 
am planning on doing two playthroughs, not one, but two playthroughs of Left 4 Dead. And here, that was kind of weird, uh, Portal kind of just... But, woo, and then killed the camera, pretty much. Well, not really, just dropped the camera. But anyway, um, I am planning to do two playthroughs of Left 4 Dead. One is a single-player playthrough, um, along with some bonus stuff, and... Another one is going to be a co-op playthrough. So basically, you're going to be seeing a lot of content from those games. Um, I might do some online stuff too, and I am, for now on, the first impressions is now a full series on my YouTube account. It's not like a once in a while thing. It's a full series on my YouTube account that I will be doing um, once in a while. Like, not on a certain occasion, but once in a while. You'll probably see once, one every two weeks or something. Um, there's going to be a playlist for all the first impressions I've done and everything. But currently, this game and other games are being played. Um, also at the moment of the recording of this video, uh, it is October 18th, which is just just a few days before my birthday, which is the 23rd, I am looking forward to this big day because I am turning 19. Now, you're probably thinking, wow, that's old. Like, yeah, I know, I am old. <laughs> I'm an old guy. Not really, but, um, when that day comes, uh, my mom's taking me out, and I'm gonna be getting some stuff, like, uh, like a few things that I really want to get. And also some, maybe some PC games and um, probably a f oh, some Wii games or something. A few, a few games that I really want to get. Like there's one game I want to get. I think it's called Kirby's Epic Yarn. That's one game I still need to get. Like I really want to get. And I'm planning to get Borderlands for the PC. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to doing a playthrough of that game when I do get the chance. Um, I might just, like, do a blind, not really a blind playthrough, I've actually beat it on the 360, so I actually know what I'm doing when I'm playing it on the PC. But anyway, we're talking about Portal here, why, why are we going off topic? <laughs> I, I know this is, I know this video might not get, I know this video might get boring for you guys, so why not talk about the game itself? As you can tell, we do have the mechanism, and we've been putting a lot of use in it. The, that test chamber was actually putting the first, um... Thing, putting the first uh, part of the gun in use. Here is where it's basically putting the ball in the catcher. Yeah, I get it, get it? Pitching and catching? Okay, not the sex term, that's kind of disgusting, but you know what I mean. And here, basically what you do, you have to make use of it and uh, pretty much portal all over the place to get where you need to go. Basically, I did that pretty fast because I actually knew what I was doing. Um, I actually like the design of it in the middle, you know, where it's like where your crosshair is. It's like a little portal kind of thingy. It's pretty cool. I think it has that in the 360 version too. And if there is a few freeze frames, it's because the game loads when... Because when it's recording, uh, when the game is actually loading, it like freezes which is okay. Um, also, I'd like to point out, this video does go off sync. Actually, the first three videos of this does go off sync, but it's no it's no problem because there's commentary over this video, so there's really no problem at all with this. And as you can see, our ball now is going through a endless portal. And I, I actually... I actually got that. I don't know how, but I actually did it. And here... You got a portal on the other side of the room to get into that platform. So let's go ahead and go on the platform. Do 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 do. You can hear that thing. All right. Um. Also, when I d am doing this video, I'm actually planning to do Portal Two. Um. Don't ask when. Um, it's probably going to be very, very soon when the game does come out. And I am going to save all my money for that game when it does come out in a few months. I think it's coming out in a few months. 
Um, and I'm also planning to get Black Ops, which is uh, probably gonna take a lot of time off from YouTube. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody loves their Call of Duty. I don't really like Call of Duty all that much, but I heard that game kind of has that thing like in Counter-Strike, where it's like a gun game. Here, uh, if you look up, there's a hole above there. That's what I made use of the portal for. Um, but as you can see, I didn't see any point to doing that right yet, because I had to get the cube. The Cubics Cube. I'm going to call that my Cubics Cube. Yeah, you guys love that. You guys love the Cubics Cube. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme. Passion. As you can see, we pretty much did that easily. Um, I think the next test is where um it gets a little tougher. This is where the difficulty kind of sharpens up a little bit. Um, if you notice that the video is a little bit kind of pixelated. Uh, the recording thing uh, didn't turn out good, like the program I was using. I'm not going to tell you which program, because I don't like it. But anyway, the, the program I was using kind of screwed up, and uh, yeah. Didn't make the video look that great. So then, the next few videos you'll see, they'll look like, they'll look ten times better, with better frame rate. You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not shoot up there. Shoot up a little higher. Okay, maybe not. And then we'll jump out jump out here and use our velocity skills. A function of mass and velocity is conserved between yep. In we use terms, the velocity. The power of velocity. You know what velocity is, right? When you're falling down, you know, you feel that gravity kind of going through you. That's velocity. That's the power of gravity. You use that to your advantage in this game, because you're going to be doing that a lot you're going to be making use of the game, pretty much. Like right now, we're in the tutorial part of the game. And it, and it froze, yeah, da, 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 da. It does that when it loads. The Enrichment Center promises to always but when you see the videos the that are coming out here, it, 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 this is ran on my PC. And you might think this is on, like, a... Uh, HD PVR or something like it's on Xbox 360. It's not. It's on the computer. I have a gaming PC, as many people should know by now, and I love it to death. Here, you see a button here, and you really have to make use of it. Now I look, look up, and then shoot. There you go. Shoot at the last second, and you're gold. Now the one thing you need to do is wait for the gun to shoot at my, to shoot at the direction you're in right now. <clears throat> this is actually pretty tough, but this is our second part of the gun we need. And then, here it's kind of where it got a little difficult. Um, but I got used to it. So if you look out there, you can see that the gun is, like, look, you can see where the portal is, the orange portal. And you gotta make use of the blue portal, making it come out the orange portal. So basically, you gotta wait for it to come out on the left end, and then so it can hit the catcher. So here, I time it right. You shoot a portal there where the ball is hit. The ball goes through, and then comes out the orange, and then goes into the catcher. There you go. You're set. You're gold. There you go. Now what you want to do is wait for the gun to hit back at the back end where the platform is. There you go. You're all set. Now you gotta shoot over there. Go back the direction you came, and you're gold. Make sure you don't get hit by that, because I think you can get killed. And make sure you don't swim in the water, either, because that water's, like, acid in everybody's case, I guess. <laughs> and here, we finally get the orange portal. The orange portal is probably the best thing you'll ever get. It's like your best friend. Basically, now, you can make your very own portals, and you can, like, you can pretty much just... You can pretty much just massively rape the game with this, but you can't. It's part of the game. <laughs> but here, uh, it doesn't really matter which one you use, because, like, you go through both of them the same way anyways. It's not like the orange is the exit and the blue is the entrance. People actually thought that when this game first came out. They're like, oh, man, this is going to be hard to play. And then, boom. Oh, no, it turns out that the thing is not... A, there, it's not an exit and a 
entrance. But yeah, whatever. Elevator time. <laughs> 